You are now entering the divine headquarters. What is up, fam? It's your big bro, Joey. Welcome back to the channel. Everybody, I want to welcome back to the channel, my OGs. Thank you for your continued love and support. And I want to welcome to the channel any new viewers. If you're liking how we're vibing over here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you to be a part of the fam as well. And most importantly, much aloha to everybody out there. I want to send, send aloha to everybody out there. I want to send aloha to our all of our enemies who wish us bad. I want to send aloha to everybody out there so that you can find peace in your heart. And um, just start living your best life with more love and peace. I'm getting this um, energy of a strong energy of forgiveness. And not only with that, I'm feeling a lot of people in the collective right now are, are picking up or are going through a lot of uh, tough times, right? Um, that's going to take us into another reading that I have a uh, set to do for us this week. But I'm going to hold off on that. But yeah, um, I'm getting like love yourself more. I want to start us off with um, a message from the universe. OK, I just want to see this. I just want to see, like, what are we manifesting this week? OK, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be using one of my um my alchemist dream deck and I'm going to use some tarot. OK, to see what are we manifesting right now? OK. Um, and to see what we should be doing to uh, stay in alignment with that manifestation so that we could. You know, pull it on in, pull it on in. I don't know about y'all, but I'm ready to I'm ready to manifest some good things, you know, some positive things. So the first message out that we have here says, what is meant for you won't pass you by. Wow. I love this. What Look at me just talking about manifesting. And now here we have it here talking about what is meant for you won't pass you by. You will never have to force something that is truly meant to be. Trust in the perfection of divine timing and allow your life to unfold as it should. Whatever comes, let it come. Whatever goes, let it go. So this is like telling you to stay in that mode of attract and not chasing because what's meant for, what, what's meant for you, you will have it. What's meant for you won't pass you by. So you don't have to be in, a, in the energy of uh, trying to fight with people. All right. I feel like right now, too, we have this strong energy of competition of uh, not only competition, um, other people trying to fight for things that we're manifesting or things that we are uh, um, working for for ourselves. And also um, we have to fight against comparing ourselves to other people and how quick they're getting something or how their life is looking compared to yours. Uh, and the list goes on and on. We have to I'm hearing you know, try our best to stay in our own lane and know that things are meant to happen for us when it's meant to happen for us. Right. I know that we can also what I'm hearing, too, is you can also speed it up. So it's like. We can't judge our what we're going through, our circumstances on somebody else's timeline, because we could speed it up or we could slow it down based on our actions, based on our thoughts based on what the energy that we're putting out there. So that's why I want to tap into and see um, what is it that we are manifesting. OK, and then also what we what do we need to do to stay within that uh, that frequency? You know what I'm saying? So we can draw it in. OK, that is what I want to find today. But like I said, what's meant for you won't pass you by. Know that. OK, so. It's not about being in a hurry. It's not about, oh, my God, I have to compete with this. I have to fight with that person. I got to do this. I got to hurry. I got to hurry and rush. Otherwise, I won't get it. No, what's for you is for you. OK. I'm hearing that song. What God has for me is for me. Don't buy into that illusion. I'm hearing some of us maybe. I just saw Neptune energy delusions, imaginations and dreams. Some of us may be falling into that delusion or that illusion that we're losing something or, or because it's not moving how we want it to move that we're not going to get it or somebody else is going to take it. But God is saying here, it's like what's for you is for you. I'm hearing that song still. What God has for me, it is for me. Yeah, like what God has for you is for you. Nobody can take it away from you. So 
have faith, okay? I know that things may seem kind of crazy right now, okay? Things might, for some people, may seem kind of weird right now, like you're in Twilight Zone or that you're doing a lot of work, but you're not you're not seeing that much um, benefits for your hard work or that maybe you thinking, maybe you're questioning, maybe some people out there are questioning, um, they are questioning whether or not they're aiming too high, whether or not like, oh my God, am I trying to go for something that is, um, that I can't have? You know what I mean? Spirit said, don't think like that. Yes, you can have it. If it, 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 if it was a dream in your head, if you, if you can't shake this dream, you having those thoughts and those feelings and those hopes and aspirations for whatever that is, you're having those for a reason. Okay. You're having that for a reason. I'm getting, stay in your truth and your authenticity and don't let anybody sway you. Okay. Don't let anybody sway you. Change your mind about what it is that you want. Don't let nobody tell you, oh my God, that's not for you. You'll never get that. That's, that ain't got nothing to do. Uh, they ain't got nothing to do with them. They don't, they don't tell you what you can and you can't have. Okay. They don't tell you that. And look at what we have right here. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this show. <laughs> look at this. What we're manifesting, what we're vibing towards right now is first. The first one is activated. It's number 27. It says, this talks about successfully conquering a fear or block that was keeping you suppressed. Okay. And this is a fear or block I'm getting internal. Some of us may have been dealing with internal blocks and fears. Some of us may have been dealing with external blocks and uh, fears like fear of somebody else doing something to you, fear of somebody else blocking you or are actually suffering from somebody blocking you or something outside of yourself that's blocking you. Or like I said, also, too, it could be internal. You're blocking yourself based off a of deep seated belief. And a lot of times it's hard for a lot of us and that's understandable. Okay. It's hard for us sometimes to look at ourselves. Sometimes we, we, we be so quick to point the finger to everybody else and say, Oh my God, you're doing this. You're doing that. Da, da, da. But it's like, okay, what are you doing? Also, sometimes it ain't really the other people cause they don't really hold that much power. Sometimes they do. Okay. Sometimes they do hold power it, depending on the situation that you're in or, or the circumstances or the environment that you are in. But, and when I say, when I say that, I'm talking about like, if you got a supervisor, a boss or somebody who, who cuts your check, you feel me? Yeah. That person could, you know, torture you. And, and I've seen it happen dozens of many a times to people. Okay. But sometimes we have to look at ourselves. Are we not aiming high enough or are we not keeping the faith or are we not persevering through ad, um, adversity you know are we giving up too soon are we allowing ourselves to our fears to stop us from moving forward there's so many opportunities in life that i forfeited because of fear we can't and i'm sure a lot of you guys can resonate with that too but the thing about that is that we can't go we can't uh if we don't have a time machine we can't go back in time and change that what is meant for us to do now is to take advantage i'm here i'm seeing the term carpe diem is to take advantage of the time the moment that we have right now so let's say that you missed out on the opportunity in the past and you were like damn if i wasn't afraid or if i didn't you know i didn't hesitate or something like that uh, I could have experienced, I could have accomplished, achieved X, Y, Z, but now, you know, what not to do moving forward. So now when those opportunities present themselves to you now in whatever field, whatever area, you know, you're trying to manifest something in whenever they, uh, those opportunities come to you now, now, you know what to do. Now, you know, not to sit back and allow those opportunities to, to pass you by. You know, you just you jump on it. You know, you're not going to do what you did before because you don't want to make those same mistakes over again. So this is activated. You are now speaking your voice. And, and, and when you if you when you see this guy here, he's like screaming like it's like, OK, I'm no longer going to allow myself to be suppressed. OK, I'm going to speak my voice. I'm going to be who I am. 
I'm not going to let anybody shut me up, you know, especially if I'm just being myself. I'm hearing um, that some of us here may have come across people, uh, places and things that like in the environments that that were like, OK, well, you can't express yourself. You can't speak your mind. You can't you can't this. You can't. There's a whole bunch of can'ts, can't, can'ts. But now you can. You're knowing that nobody else controls you. You're the only one who can control you. You're knowing that nobody has a uh, uh, dominion over you, whether it's uh, physical, whether it's spiritual. All right. Because some of you guys have also some of those blocks have been spell work being done on you. Voodoo, Santeria, whatever the hell. Negative energy, evil eye been sent towards you of people wanting to suppress you and not wanting. You know, a lot of times people can see our our uh, our true potential better than sometimes we they can see it better than we can see it right and a lot of times they be hip to it and they do little things say little things i'm 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 picking up on somebody here you may you might have had somebody that really knew what things to say knew what buttons to push to say to and do to you to make you uh buy into the illusion of that you know that you're not we weren't worthy enough or that um uh, affecting your self-esteem, okay, and making you feel like you know that you were never that 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 you were foolish to have a certain type of dream, that you were foolish to want to go down a certain path or to try to see if you can actually get something or or achieve something that you've been wanting to achieve, okay. We got tears of joy. I love this. This is something that I've always wanted to experience in my life. Comment down below if y'all ready to go, guys. Where's my drum? <laughs> I was cleaning out my space today and then I moved it. Yo, comment down below if you guys are ready to go. Yeah. Where is this now, thing? Why do I always... Hey, it rung it for me. But, yo... This is something that I've always wanted to experience. I don't know about you guys. Comment down below if you ever thought to yourself, like, wow, like, what is that? Like, how does that feel? Like, you know, crying tears of joy. Like, how does that feel? Like, I want to I want to feel that. <laughs> I just heard somebody, somebody is somebody. I'm channeling a song for somebody. He's like, I want to know what love is. I want you to show me for somebody. Somebody is going to be the catalyst to make you feel or to initiate these uh, tears of joy for you. It could come through um, a connection. It could come through a relationship. It could come through, a, you know, a partnership or something like that, whether it's platonic or romantic. But tears of joy. Number 79. This talks about um, an unexpected event brings you enormous joyful feelings of relief this is you like oh my god like you know like you crying you're dropping tears and people are like oh my god are you okay are you okay yeah i'm okay oh my god like you're just so happy that somebody here oh my god y'all claim this if you resonate somebody here is about to to receive some sort of something that is akin to a miracle on your situation okay that is going to allow some sort of relief, um, whether this is a relief coming from you speaking, speaking your mind or uh, standing up for yourself, setting healthy boundaries for yourself and then things falling into place. But you're going to somebody here is going to cry tears of joy. OK, and then we have payoff number 34. This says the hard work you've put into this situation finally pays off. Awesome job. So you what you're doing is not in vain i know sometimes it can feel like yo like what's going on here like <laughs> i've been doing this for how long and nothing's popped off or i've haven't recouped my money that i invested into this this business deal or i'm not getting any business prospects i'm not getting any clients and stuff like that it's about it's gonna pay off for you i'm getting persevere Right. And no, you have to know that what's for you is for you. 
And I know a lot of times that comes down to you tricking your own mind because your mind can play tricks on you to the point where it makes you feel that you're not progressing when you in turn are progressing. It's just that it may be, you know, little things are, are being shifted and it's hard for you to see that. But what what is meant for you won't pass you by. So all the hard work, all of the the blood, sweat and tears you're putting into something is going to pay off. OK, and then 86, the cherry on top is you win. You are victorious over any opponent coming against you at this time. So especially if you had people who were trying to hold you back, who were trying to keep you from uh, obtaining something. Uh, this could be a family member tr not wanting you to outshine them in some sort of way, but they're not going to be able to stop you. This could be a co-worker, somebody who's over you on the job, who's not wanting you to get promoted. But hey, if they if their door is closed, another one is opening up for you somewhere else. Right. You just have to make sure that you we are not. I'm getting make sure that we are not uh, applying limit limitations on our own success or potential of success. I'm getting we are in the energy of zero right now. So this is you. This is a very clean slate. So it's like, OK, where do you want to go? Where do you want to go with this? You're trying to manifest. So where do you want to go with this? You want to go down back that I just heard back down memory lane. You want to go back down memory lane with somebody or something or repeat a certain situation over. I'm seeing number two partnership opposition balance hopefully we are moving we are moving more so more more so towards balance okay and and even partnerships right balanced partnerships and and not opposition people who are out of alignment you know out of energetic alignment and they don't see eye to eye with us but you were going to be victorious over something or someone that came against you whether this was internal or whether it was ex external you end up victorious we just had a reading last week about the same thing about you winning, you being victorious over an enemy. OK, and look what's on the bottom of the deck. Eighty eight. OK, some of you guys may be seeing eighty eight. Also, you may be seeing twenty seven, seventy nine, thirty four, eighty six, but eighty eight. And this is talking about a windfall. You hit the jackpot through a lucky win. This is your lucky streak. So just when you thought, wow, ain't nothing good going on for me. I'm never going to uh, achieve anything. It happens. You have to keep the faith. And look here, another one on the bottom. Number 21, creation. It says something you dream or wish will materialize. A dream comes to life. Y'all see what I'm talking about here. This is something that you did. This is something that you are working towards. This is something that you um, you brought into. Uh, you, you created this, okay? Out of the... I'm looking at creativity number three. Number three may be significant here, which, which is in alignment with luck, success, intuition, having fun, communicating with spirit. Partnering with your or communicating with your soul, tribe, your spirit team, people who are uh, like minded individuals. OK, expressing yourself. Here we go. We see it activated expressing yourself. And I feel like the more I'm getting, the more confident you are is the better you're able to manifest. OK, or the quicker you're able to to manifest because everything that you want. OK. Everything that you want, yeah, you tie it. Look at this right here. I'm going to read this in a second. Everything that you want is already created, right? Everything that you you, you made a request for, you you envision, you hoped for, you dreamed about, it's, 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 it's ready to come to you, but we just have to put in the, do our part and bring it into fruition, you know? Believe in it, you know, believe it, feel it. Put out those those vibrations, raise your vibration so that you're on that same that same level as what it is that you're trying to manifest. All right. Persevere. Don't give up. And then when it's time to take divinely divinely guided action, you take it. 
right? And you don't let fear or something blocking you stop you when that's right in front of you. Uh, I'm hearing right in front of your face, okay? I'm getting what's the overall energy here on this also. It is nine of wands. This is that wounded warrior type energy. Like you've been through a lot. You've gone through all the other wands. You made it to the to the to the night one. Right? You're almost about to finish. You're almost about to hit that finish line. Spirit is telling you to keep going. Fight for what it is that you want. Don't don't just say, oh well. Oh, well, I guess I won't ever have this, da, 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 I guess, because that person told me, no, I guess I won't have it. I go, oh, well, da, no, 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 I fight for what it is that you want. And I'm going to pull some cards that, that uh, on what you could do to uh, get yourself in alignment with what it is that you're trying to manifest, okay, to to bring this, because I need y'all to put, <laughs> I'm going to need you to put that extra oomph in it, I mean, put that extra oomph in it. To bring it on through. And that is to relax. A light four swords. Allow yourself to heal. I'm hearing calm down right now. You feel me? Calm down right now. A light. Take a break. Take a break. Take your hands off the wheel. Take your hands off of it. Yup. I'm looking at Mars energy here, which talks about action and being aggressive aggression like take that aggression away remember what i said before when we first started you are an attractor and not a chaser we don't chase we attract that's what spirit is trying to tell you like okay you put your order in but i know because it, it may be taking you you feel like it's taking too long uh you may be getting discouraged and thinking that oh it's not happening so i gotta like, so maybe i gotta do this OK, it's still not happening when I want it to happen. Maybe I got to do that. OK, it's still not happening. So let me it's like, no, stop, stop, because when we are too aggressive towards something, we could like mess up the energy. OK. All right. I've done it plenty of times. So I know what I'm talking about here. <laughs> what else? What's the other advice for the collective? What's the other advice for the collective? What can we do right now to align ourselves? Wow. Have fun. Have fun. Three of cups. Celebrate. Celebrate like it's already here. Okay. Celebrate like it's already here. See it. Go out and have fun. Do something good. Nice for yourself with the three of cups here. Do something fun. Do something that makes you smile. Do buy us treat yourself to something if you have the the additional funds because I know we all have bills but if you got the additional funds go out and do something for yourself hang around people if you got friends to hang around hang around people that make you smile that make you that allow you to have fun hmm I'm getting a reunion type of vibe here like reunite with yourself reunite with your inner child. Yeah, especially with this page of cups energy here. Reunite with your inner child. Connect back to that inner child that believed that anything was possible, whose mind wasn't really that affected by, you know, the world that we, you know, we grow up, we get jaded. You know what I'm saying? When you, children are very, very innocent. And I feel like that when we're kids, we're very, very powerful and strong when it comes to our minds, right? But we let these adults, you know, we let, but... <laughs> Based off of circumstances, you know, sometimes we get a little jaded or we just stop believing in certain things because society tells you not to believe in that or not to go down that specific pathway or, or that's stupid or that's childish or whatever. No, it is time for you to, to take the limitations. I'm here to take the limitations off. Allow yourself, somebody here needs to allow themselves to, to have a crush again, fall in love again, to have, you know, um, entertain s stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm hearing also get creative. <laughs> I just heard everybody's so creative. Get creative, you know, do something, create art. Some of y'all might need to go to a paint and sip if you paint and sip, you know, but open your mind up to have fun is what i'm hearing y'all we need the opposite energy right we've been 
A lot of us have been given this aggressive and I'm guilty of that too. You know what I mean? I'm speaking from experience. Here. A lot of us have been putting that aggressive energy out. And I think it's my Capricorn side, right? So a lot of us have been putting that aggressive energy out, trying to manifest certain things, but it's running away from us. You feel me? Or it was running away. So it's like, and if you really want it, you got to take your hands off of it and, and, and allow the universe like, yo, we supposed to be working on <laughs> I mean, like, God is like, yo, we're supposed to be working on this together. Why are you trying to do it all on your own? Like, you know what I'm saying? Do your part and allow me to do mine. And then you, you know, you sell the deal, you know? Find balance. You got to balance yourself out. This is balance between work and play. Balance. Get enough sleep. You know, eat properly. Create balance in all areas of your life. That is what's going to help you manifest what you're trying to manifest. That's going to help you manifest this this windfall and so that it manifests his victory against his enemy also manifest your wish come wish coming true this balance we need to balance ourselves out like you know what i mean like let's say going back to the concept of chasing and chasing and attracting right that's imbalance because all if we are running and chasing after something that's imbalance because we're not you know, we're more so caught up on that. Let's say if it's half and half, right? We're more so on this side. We need to be in the middle. You feel me? And in this case, spirit is like, I need you to come all the way over to the other side. You know what I'm saying? To attract. Because you've put so much energy into it. You put you. This is something you've been working hard at. But you do about to get it. You feel me? You put so much energy into it. And now it's time for you to be, to put to to uh, take your hands off of it and rest and relax and know that it's coming to you because what's meant for you won't pass you by let's see how all these messages they're they all correlate and and um the fool allow yourself to i'm here and participate in this brand new beginning that's for yourself allow yourself to to do something different to do something new to go down a brand new pathway to you know how sometimes we could do the same thing over and over and over thinking that it's going to always oh, going to pop this time, always oh, going to pop this time, always oh, going to ain't never popping, ain't never popping. You feel me? But Spirit is saying, OK, now I need you to do something completely different. OK, you tried X, Y, Z, da, da, da. you tried all that stuff. Now I need you to take your hands off of it. OK, take your hands off of it. And do something different. I need you to have this a lighter energy is what I'm hearing. I need you to have that energy that you know it's going to come. You know it's going to happen. You know it's for you. It don't matter what nobody else is saying. It don't matter what these people around you are telling you. Because y'all got, got some head. Somebody around you, yeah, I'm hearing heavyweight competition, okay? And it's like, you like, I didn't sign up for this competition, but they signed up for it. You feel me? <laughs> Weirdos, bro. <sighs> It's time for you to drop it. Drop it. Let them go. Do your own thing. Okay? And and for, first and foremost, it's, it's taking care of you. All right? Taking care. See, I'm talking about death energy here. It's time for you to... Let me tell you something. And then who got who we got on here on the card? We got Kali on the, on the card. This is letting you know right here that your enemies are being taken care of. All right? Anybody who was coming up against you, any obstacles, this could be uh, something spiritual or it could be something intangible. You feel me? Uh, any obstacles are being destroyed and trampled all over. It's being annihilated even is what I'm getting with this imagery right here on this card. It's being annihilated. So if anybody came up against you or anybody tried to take something from you, anybody did any spell work to try to take your gifts, try to take your blessings, try to do, try to. Uh, change your destiny, any of that weird stuff, it is being corrected. Whoever, the, whatever energy this is, is being annihilated, okay, and removed from your path. Is there a nationwide is on your side? So it's like you got, God is on your side right now. So God is like, if you believe how you say you believe, if you have faith, how you say you have faith, okay? 
then you you would believe and you wouldn't give up and you would keep moving forward. It doesn't matter who's who, what, what, what man or woman is around you who's not co-signing. A lot of times we go through these things, okay, especially when we're on our spiritual journey or when we're going after our goals. There's going to be a lot of people that don't see the same vision that you see, that are not going to back you, that are not going to uh, 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 cheer you on, right? But that is okay. That's when you cheer yourself on and you rest in, rest assured that God is cheering you on too. Your spirit team, your ancestors are cheering you on too. And don't forget that. It doesn't matter who's coming, who wants to do better than you, who wants to stop you from that. They're going to get taken care of because they're, you stay in your lane and they're going to get knocked back into their lane. However, that shows up in the world. I don't know. They're going to get knocked back into their world and you continue moving forward. But you got to maintain that balance. You got to chill, relax, do something that's relaxing. Somebody might need to go to a spa. Go get you a facial. Go get you a massage. Do something. Go chill by the beach. You know what I mean? Go chill by the lake, whatever you have around you. Listen to the lake. Listen to the ocean. You know, what if do something. That is going to allow you to, to, to balance your life back out, okay? And you can use the art. You can use your creativity. Tap into your, create something. But either by hand, uh, create something from your mind, whatever. Create something. And it's going to help put you into that vibration that you need to be in. You need to smile. You need to party. You need to have fun. You need to, hey, <laughs> I just heard go and get, eat some good food. You know what I'm saying? Somebody need, might need to drop it like it's hot. You feel me? Do what you got to do to, to put, put yourself in that correct vibration and pull yourself out of that. I'm getting that Saturn, that restrictive, that pessimistic um, energy. Okay. So that's what I got for you guys today. Okay. Hopefully you guys got something positive from this. If you did, please comment down below. Let me know how you guys feel about it. Um, if you want to be a part of the fam, go to hit that subscribe button. Okay. Um, I don't even know what else I'm supposed to be saying, but thank y'all so much for being here. I really do appreciate you guys much love and light to everybody out there. Much aloha to everybody out there. Fafetai lava. Obrigado. Ciao. Mm -hmm.